Shut up and sit down. Hey, you scallywags! Looks like Joy Toy are at it again. Here, posted by uh, Suo An. Um, looks like the new design of Warhammer figure. No idea when this will come out, if it will come out, but we don't even have the China release exclusive yet. And looks like they're working on another design. This more in line with the traditional uh, Space Marine design. Looks more like my intercessor from McFarlane, actually. And it's even got the um, that symbol um, on the floor there. On the floor. Um, so yeah, this is a bigger, bigger, bulkier uh, design. So looking, yeah, looking like the proportions look look better, I think, than the ones that we've got coming out exclusive to China. Um, I mean, don't want to speculate really, but could this be the um, the one that they, they actually release internationally? I don't know. I don't have any information, so don't get too excited. There we go. There's the uh, the the winged skull that um we know uh usually see on these figures which wasn't in the um the one that's coming out in china exclusively but this proportion wise looks a lot better hopefully they will be a bit bigger than the ones we're getting out in china and hopefully this will be uh, an international release again i have no idea but we can hope that's all we can do so here we have um just some image a video of the figure as it spins around but this is looking really promising so again all we can do is hope that this will be the international release that uh, has been speculated we'll see how it does in China fingers crossed For those of you unlucky to get the pre-orders on Toy Nami, Peer Club have now got the Acid Rain exclusive figures available while stocks last. So go go there and grab what you can as uh, they're available right now. Um, so here is uh, some images from the festival. So you can see they've got stuff, uh, a few things there showcased that will uh, be out soon. And they've got the exclusive figures shown here. The figures, by the way, are a bit cheaper on Peer Club, um, particularly if you're ordering from Europe and stuff. The, the uh, delivery is a lot cheaper than from Toy Nami. So I did pick up a couple of figures from there. And here we've actually got those bikes that um, previously had the arch core so, uh, signed by it now we can see it is part of acid rain they're just here exclusively with these figures with no arch core so it's just the bikes from what we've seen before uh, so we've got again the same ones the middle one that's colored they do look they are different designs um, and then there's yeah just the uncolored ones there as well so hopefully that'll be something that we get at some point soon Following up from images from Patrick Chan previously from Fresh Retro, this mecha that we saw that with the cockpit open and the figure inside. Uh, we've now got images of the cockpit closed. So here it is, the cockpit closed and figures below as well, looking very chunky and really awesome. So really liking this design, hoping we can see more and, and see what the colors are going to be on this thing, all that. Here is another image of the figure coming out. A little bit of articulation you can see here. It looks like it's a double jointed knee. The uh, arm can move up like that. We'll have to see the head move a little bit. So we'll have to see what else uh, will be available with these uh, with the articulation for these figures.
And some more images from the fe from that festival from Monster Hunter World. This dragon once again looking very intimidating. This figure here just sort of standing with a weapon, weapons by its side. Previously it was uh, in sort of an action pose mode. This one here too, same again. Um, I don't know if it comes with that massive sort of uh, club thing or whatever it is, can't remember what they're called. And then here, this, this figure also with a shield and sword. This one looking very awesome and menacing. And this armor, which I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I used in the game itself as well with those the, the dual, wheel, dual wielding blades, I uh, quite like those weapons in the game. Patrick Chan also shared images of this Ghost in Shell Tachikoma. Uh, there was another release that I thought looked similar to a Tachikoma. Now they've actually got model scale kit in 124 scale. So we'll scale a bit smaller um, than your 118, but I think would probably go well in a 118 collection. You know, to, to go with the, your universe building. These would be good little a droid mech as you can get but looking pretty good and I could do with a bit of weathering if you do that yourself on it but yeah the designs are faithful to the Tachikoma designs in the anime and movies there's the back bit where the uh, pilot or person would usually go in riding look at that interesting no other details on this just yet. Number 57 are at it again. Uh, recently they had announced the frog kind of little mecha. I've got the only, only flame one, which is really good. And now they've got a shark one coming out. So yeah, this um, looks like it'll be out in October. So snap kit. Again, and 124 scale. So that's all for now. Just a little uh, update from the weekend stuff. Obviously with this new Warhammer thing coming out yet again. Getting our hopes up. Um, again, as soon as I hear some, some news and actual confirmation on anything there, I will let you guys know. Otherwise, um, you know, we, we don't know if it's going to come over here yet. But it does look like there's a new design they're working on. So yeah, let's uh, look forward to the, the other things coming out and comment below, subscribe, check the other content. I'll scale you guys later.